now our very own MacGyver of the Beko Kitchen, Chef Mark, who is making meatballs today, but without the meat. <laughs> and Mike. <laughs> and Mike. <laughs> and we banned up. Mike yeah, just, just, after just, yesterday. Just for the interim, after those chilli, that chilli fiasco. <laughs> so what are you doing? Right, so we got meatballs mm. with no meat. Yeah, that so sounds a bit got, strange. No, 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 they're going to be good. So instead of meat, we've got cauliflower, we've got some quinoa and some brown rice, and that's going to bind everything together. Lots of spices in there, so we'll make it super tasty. And then we're going to make a, a korma sauce. Oh, mm. the korma sauce sounds delicious. Okay, then. Well, that sounds good. Right back to you, Mike. Yeah, yeah, that's that's we... lovely, Mel. Beautiful, thank you very <laughs> I'm much. I'm so comfortable. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's no, all right. I can take over. I'm allowed back in the kitchen. It's fine. You can you go and put your feet up for a little bit. I will. Your dinner. <laughs> okay, here we are in the Beko kitchen. Thanks, Mel. And Mark, uh, the vegetarian option tonight, which yep. is great. Veggie balls. Veggie sound, balls sound a little bit better. Right, so we're going to make our uh, mixture now. So. Okay. Cauliflower, so raw cauliflower, cut it into like little pieces or florets as we call it in the industry. <laughs> yes, you do. Cook them so they're nice and soft, drain them off, yep. and then we're going to put them in the bowl. Nice. Put them in a bowl there. Right, and then I've got some quinoa and some brown rice as well. So okay. these have been pre cooked as well, drained off. And this is going to give us some like body and substance to the um, to the balls. Nice, okay, nice texture. So that, yeah, so that goes in. So we're going to mix it all together. Okay. And I'm going to give that a good season. Yeah, there's a lot of ingredients going on here, so these are going to be tasty veggie balls, aren't they? Yeah, exactly, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, it's going to be full of flavour. And we're going to make some sauce too, aren't we? Yeah, yeah we're going to make some sauce. So we've got a little bit, of, uh, little bit of salt goes in there. You can crack an egg into the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a pan, into Mel. the bowl, into this bowl. <laughs> Mark's being mean. No, it's all right, I can do that. Crack an egg into yeah, this bowl? Yeah, yeah. crack okay, an egg into sure. there. Not so, the pan, like I so, did yesterday? No. <laughs> So a little bit of uh, cumin goes in there, a little bit of um, paprika yep. goes in there. Yeah, I did lie about that, there was chilli, there was a little bit of chilli. It's not going to be hot though. <laughs> Alright, you can probably put one more egg in there okay. and then start, start sort of giving it a good stir around. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some ground almonds as well. So we're going to put some ground almonds in there and that's going to act as like a, you know, a little bit, like almost like breadcrumbs. You could nice. use breadcrumbs if you want, but it's quite nice to uh, just use something else. So I'm just going to start mixing it around a little bit. Okay. But if you really want, you know, you get a food processor, you can just pulse it in the food processor. Oh, okay, nice. You know, and then yeah. it'll just break that, um, you know, the big pieces of cauliflower down. Right. But, you know, if you haven't got one or, you know, you can't be bothered getting it out, <laughs> just, um, no, just break it down, you know, it's good. Texture is good. We like texture. It smells good already. Yeah, and look at that. And then all we're going to do now is just, um, you know, take a little bit in your hand, roll it into a nice ball, and then we're just going to fry them off. Okay. And any tips for rolling? Do you make your hands yeah, wet? Yeah. If you, you can either put a little splash of oil on your hands yes. or even make your hands wet and then that will um, it'll stop making this wet, wet okay, mixture cool. stick. Are we going to roll now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's cool. roll. So pan's on. I'll put a little bit of oil in the pan first. Mm -hmm. So that's getting warm. As we roll, we can put them straight in the pan. Okay, great. And what sort of size are we looking for? Um, gobstopper. A gobstopper. Gobstopper. <laughs> 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 Didn't see what I for a while. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know, bite size. What's about that? Too big? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean you can do you can do any any size you want. Uh, okay, but that's sort of. But nice we like them consistent. Size. You got to make them all the same size so they cook evenly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Okay, nice. Get in there. there so go. nice Oops. medium heat. Get some nice colour on them. Flip them around. You know, you you want to keep moving them. Um, so you've got like sort of you know at least four sides on there. You know, going around even more five six sides. Okay. So keep turning them. Get a nice even um, golden uh, brown colour. A little bit of texture on the outside. And uh, you know they'll be warm through. I mean the mixture is already warm because we've just cooked the um, cauliflower and the quinoa. Yeah, the rice. It's warm. Yeah. So nice. it's really good. So it's really fast. Nice to do on a winter's day too, isn't it? Oh, it is your hands nice and warm. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it is. And it, no, it's really good. And it's um, so see, so look at your hands. So you wet your hands. I didn't wet my hands. Right. So you can see the difference, the difference. You know. Yeah. So that that is mm. a top tip. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And this is good fun for the kids' school holidays, isn't it? You, you know, get them doing all the rolling. Yeah. Right, yeah, you keep rolling and I'll keep moving them around. Because you don't want to move them around too much at the start, do you? Cause it, no, you want to make sure you get a nice colour on one side. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful. Perfect okay, colour. Cool. And then that will set the ball as well, so then you can start moving it around. If you haven't got that colour and you start moving it around, you've got more chance of it just breaking up. Okay, cool. Well, keep your ball size consistent, please. Yeah, sorry, sure. <laughs> no, my goodness. Okay. Uh, we'll keep rolling and we'll keep cooking. Smelling delicious, too. And then we're going to show you how to make the sauce that goes with these veggie balls. Right now, though, when you get the sauce done, the, the, these balls are coming along nicely. That's the sort of colour we're looking for. Who isn't rolled it? that one? You rolled that one. <laughs> well, there's a dodgy one there. That's Mark's. That is definitely Mark's. That one right there. See it? Told you to be consistent <laughs> with your rolls. Okay. Right. 
Oh no, carry on. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're yeah, now. It's the sauce time. Yeah, right. So we're going to make our sauce. So first of all, we need to make a paste. So we're going to make a spice mix, a spice paste. And what is in that? Right. So in here, I've got onions. Yes. Ginger, garlic. Nice. Blend them all together. So mm -hmm. I'm just using a little um, hand blender. You yep. know, you can do that. It takes a little bit of time, but you can do it. Nice. Um, or do it in a food processor. Oh yeah. Sweet. Works really well. Right. I'm going to put some uh, nuts in there. So I've got blanched almonds, whole ones. This gives a nice bit of texture. Why don't you use almonds with, you know, that are blanched? <laughs> Maybe I should have used ground almonds. <laughs> no, but it's cool. A little bit of texture is good. <laughs> yeah. Texture. Just, texture. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay, good. Right, and then we've got a, a nice array of spices. Yeah, you've got a good array of spices. So do you, do you know which ones they are? Oh, my goodness. So you goodness. pick them up. Okay. And then, and then put a little bit in each one. Oh, is that... Um, <laughs> I was going to say, mixed herbs. <laughs> Mel. Cumin. Cumin. <laughs> yeah? Uh, no, that's oh. uh, garam masala. Is it? Okay. Oh, You're... mixed spices. So yeah, there you Close. go. Do you want it in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So that goes in there. Okay, and this one? Paprika? Yep. Yeah, okay, cool. All in? Uh, yeah, you can put it... Um, Put as much as you want in, Mike. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll let you control the heat today. <laughs> okay, cool. Now this one here. Mm, I don't know what that one is. What was that? Uh, that's a bit of cayenne pepper. Okay, wow. So go go easy. <laughs> go easy on that one. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, and this one here. Mustard powder? Uh, turmeric. Turmeric. <laughs> it's cl close. Mustard powder. <laughs> you can see the quality of my cooking at home. <laughs> I mean, she got a packet. She got a packet of mixed spice that's been sitting in the cupboard for seven years. <laughs> it's still dry though. Um, okay. Right. What's the next one? This one here. Ooh, nutmeg. Close. Mm. Uh, it's a sweet spice. Clove. Clove. It is too. And this one. You'll know this one. Um, no, I don't know. <laughs> you, nearly, you nearly said it, cumin. Ah, oh, no way. There you go. Did you put in everything nowadays. Did you put some um, cloven? Yes, we did. Yeah. Lovely. Right, yeah. so that all goes in there. Okay. Get a pan. Yep. Medium heat with some oil, and then we're just going to fry this off. So we're going to fry it, release all those flavours, and that's going to be the base of our um, sauce. So, a couple of minutes in there, and you can already smell it. You know, Ooh, as soon yeah. as it hits the heat and it fries. You know, all these amazing aromas come out. Yum. This is good. I'm liking this. That's good. It's really simple. So, and you keep that on a nice medium heat. We've got some nice colour around it. Most of them are shaped nicely. <laughs> yeah, apart from the one you rolled. <laughs> yeah. Look at that one. Look. Disastrous. It's not even a ball. Not it's even a ball, it's Mark. What is going on? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that thinking. wasn't mine. Right, right, sure and then in here, just as well. we've got... Some tomato paste. Yes. So that goes in. Yeah. I'm going to put a splash of water in there as well. Okay. Turn the heat up. Mm -hmm. Get it all mixed in. Bubble it together. Turn it down to a simmer for about 10, 15 minutes. And then we've got some coconut milk here. Yes. We're going to pop that in. Bring it down again. Taste it. Adjust it with a little bit of lemon juice, salt and pepper. When you're happy with it, we're going to pop it into that pan. They're going to glaze around the meatballs, veggie balls, and uh, that's good to go. And Beautiful. what are we going to do Job with done. the sesame seeds? A bit of a garnish. That's quinoa. We've oh, used that. oh, we've already used that. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mel, you should have stayed here, I think. <laughs> it's smelling incredible. Uh, and we'll get to taste it a little later on in the show. And if you want the recipe, of course, go to thecafe.co.nz. How's it looking? Beautiful. Look at this. And I reckon you wouldn't even know the difference that these are vegetables and have no meat in them. Right. Look at that. Okay. Well, test that's, that. Oh, that looks yeah. very we'll interesting. Try it. Okay. <laughs> try, try some TV. <laughs> try what you, it. What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> well, tomorrow I've got uh, a great time saver recipe. <laughs> a one-pot lasagna. <laughs> 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 <laughs>